hello guys welcome back so now let's just start this project so open up your Android studio click on new flutter project make sure that flutter is selected then click next and here you have to provide your project name remember your project name must be in small English alphabets and you have to provide the name together for example let's give this project name as dating tinder clone app or dating app whatever name you want to give to it so I cannot give it a name like dating space app okay this is not the uh, good way the good way is otherwise sometimes you get errors for it instead of space you can use this underscore okay instead of space use this underscore so it is now dating underscore app and then here you have to provide the description so I will just say this is flutter get x tinder clone app or you can say matching app so anyways now here is the organization here you see this com dot example instead of example you can type your name so I can simply say com dot let's say your name is John so you can type John if your name is Peter you can type Peter my name is Muhammad Ali so I will type my name and you type your name com dot Muhammad Ali and then make sure to uncheck Windows web Mac OS Linux it is only for Android iOS and then my project location is that is when my project is created it will be saved to the desktop by this name which is dating underscore app as you can see here okay so now I am ready to create so click on create and it is going now to create a brand new project for us as you can see it is creating now and it has been created successfully now the first thing you have to make sure is make sure that from here this project is selected this is our flutter project dating underscore app here comes the lib inside the lib basically we write our coding files in dot programming languages and our dot files we will create by default we have main dot dot from where basically our app starts here is some basic uh, UI if, I, if you scroll here my home page and my home page start of course we do not need this we will remove this in a while and then the next thing that we have is popspec.yml so let's say if we use any uh, dependencies any uh, assets like images in the uh, assets and let's say any external fonts we want to use then that we include here in our this popspec.yml file and the dependencies we add here after the Cupertino icons so anyways this was just some basic info about the flutter now the next thing is come back here to the main dot dot we need to remove the my home page and my home page state so I will just remove this okay it is removed now and also let's remove these comments and then remove this now right click on lib new and let's create a new folder we will give it name as authentication screens now right click on this authentication screen folder new dot file and we will create our first file which is the login underscore screen remember the dot file name must be in small English alphabet okay and as I told you instead of spaces you can use this underscore so login screen is our first screen so press enter to create import the material dot dot and we will create a stateful widget we will give it name as login screen now come back to the main dot dot and here our first screen from where our app will start that will be login screen for now of course later when we add the authentication we will add a condition that is if the user is already logged in and send the user to the home screen otherwise the user will be on the login screen if the user is not already logged in so 
our app will start from the login screen for now okay that is our first screen and the root is from here home login screen as you already know that we will develop this project using the get stat management so for that purpose we have to add a dependency for using get x in our this flowchart project so go to the popspec.yml and then open up your browser and simply go to this site famous site which is pub.dev and search for the package which is by the name get so this one which is get which is get x so click on installing and you have to just copy this dependency come back to your project and simply add that in here now one important thing here I have to mention is that delete this version number okay and just leave this get colon now the advantage of this is let's say if any new version came out in a few days or let's say after a month or let's say after one year it will automatically get the latest new version okay it will get the new version automatically okay it do not depend on any specific version number so always when you use any dependency or any package the dependency of it must uh, you have to define like this without the version number and the advantage of this is that is whenever the new version is available it will always it will always get the latest new version of get x okay so that's why i just used colon get colon without specifying the version number and also one thing is do not give it one space forward or one space backward otherwise you will get error it must be in proper indentation with this C as you can see this get G must be in proper indentation with this C as you can see just like this no space forward no space backward otherwise you will get errors so anyways now let's just click pub, pub get in order to install the get in our project or from the command line whenever you want to add a new dependency in your project you have to just type flutter pub get okay this is the command for this pub get it automatically run that when we click on pub get otherwise from the command line you have to just type this command so anyways now let's come back here to our man and this is now get material app we will give it name as dating app or you can say tinder clone so now let's just test the application to see how it looks so the app is running now successfully and as you can see that it starts from the login screen which is our this login screen if you go to the login screen then here we have just the placeholder for now which you see on your screen now one thing of course we will develop it step by step so first of all we need to remove this debug banner from here so for that purpose here on our get material app inside it after the theme we can say debug show check mode banner and we will set this to false and it will remove that banner from the top as you can see 